I'd like to introduce you to the first ever user of the Neuralink device. Meet Noland, completely paralyzed below the shoulders in a diving accident eight years ago, but now able to control his laptop and play games with the power of thought. Actually, can you pause the song just for the yeah, audio absolutely. coming through? And that was also done with your brain? Yep. A device about the size of a pound coin was implanted in his brain by Elon Musk's Neuralink company in January. It reads signals in his neurons, decoding his intention to move his hands and arms and sends instructions wirelessly to a receiver attached to his computer. I could get it to move wherever I wanted, just stare somewhere in the screen and it would move where I wanted it to, um, which was such a wild experience. Other scientists are also transforming lives with brain chips. In Switzerland, Gert Jan Oskam can walk because signals in his neurons have been rerouted around a break in his spinal cord, giving him back control of his leg muscles. So these are the electrodes. And at Imperial College in London, another team is using a headset to read brainwaves. I think it can become commonplace that people can either enter virtual environments uh, and then interact with those environments just by thinking rather than actually physically doing the movements. And this can open up many possibilities. Then it's my turn. The challenge is just to think about moving my hands. Those brain waves inflate the green balls in this game until they explode. Well, that took intense focus, a lot of mental effort, and I think I'd get tired if I did it for too long. It's a bit like when you learn to drive and you're thinking through the, the brake, the controls, the clutch and so on. That becomes second nature, and so would this in time. This is still experimental technology, heavily regulated because of potential infection or brain damage from the implant procedure. But Noland has had no problems. Like, there's nothing to be afraid of with that. The surgery was super easy. I literally was released from the hospital a day later. Noland says the device isn't perfect. He's still uh, learning to use it. But he's no longer dependent on other people to help him play computer games. That is liberating. And it's just the start. Thomas Moore, Sky News. Complete help from saving.